Hello, I'm Rachel with Adventurous Heart, and Duck and I have something really cool to share you. What did you see, Duck? What is that? It looks just like you. It's big, it's white, but it doesn't quite have a bill. So what is this that Duck discovered? This, my friends, is what we call, are you gonna try to eat it? Are you gonna eat it, Duck? This is what you call a giant puff ball. It is a type of mushroom that usually comes up in late summer, early fall, and they can be absolutely huge, just as you can see here. Alright, so just how big do giant puffballs get? I did a little research and most of them are somewhere between 4 and 30 inches. Most of them that I've seen is when I was riding my horse and would see it in the woods or walking through the trails were definitely smaller than these. So I was super, super excited to be able to come across these and I thought, hmm, how big are they? In fact, how big are the biggest giant puffballs in the world? I found out that one of the biggest is 66.5 inches and then another one was 81.5 and that made me think, how big are these? So of course I had to get a tape measure and so if I go around you can see that this one is just about 52 inches. Yes, a giant puff ball, about 52 inches. Now, is it cheating a little bit because it's kind of two that are growing together? Well, when I pick it, it's still going to be big, one big one that I hold. So uh, in my mind, this is a 52 inch diameter. Now, if I go the other way, <laughs> it's obviously going to be quite a bit less it's probably going to be closer to around 30, I would say, just because I can't get under it yet. But in a minute, we are going to pick this, and then, I don't know if you know this, but obviously, before I say this next part, I'll interject this. Mushrooms in themselves, you have to be very, very careful about which ones you eat, because obviously it can be very dangerous. Giant puffball is one that is a safer one to eat but you still shouldn't go do it unless you know for sure talk to someone else do not use this video to be the judge of what mushrooms you should eat or do not eat please do not do that i'm not telling you to do that um, but know that a giant puffball if you know what you're looking for can be one that you will eat definitely want it to have a white flesh inside if you see any yellow any brown it means it's sporing and you definitely do not want to eat it um, but i am going to get ready to pick these, you can kind of hear them, and take it in the house and have a yummy snack. So let's go see what it looks like inside. All right, so before I go inside, I'll give you one more view of what this giant puffball looks like. And check that out. Slug friend here thinks puffballs are really good to eat too. Don't worry, I'll take him off before we go inside. All right, let's go ahead and get ready to pick this giant puff ball. Nice and easy. It is attached at the bottom, of course, to the ground. Easily pick it up and check that out. Oh my gosh, it's a lot heavier than I thought it would be. We're gonna have to weigh this thing. I'm actually really, really excited to have such a big one. I've never felt one. Usually they're about half this size, about the size of a volleyball um, is what I've experienced in the past. But definitely check this out. Super cool. And we'll take little slug off. <laughs> so he's already curling up, we might've scared him. So we'll make sure that he's on the grass and ready to go. So let's weigh this thing before we eat it. 
All right, let's take this thing with me. Look how big it is. It's huge. I love it. Let's go. It's so huge. Check that out. I absolutely love it. I mean, look at the size comparison of this to my face. It's just huge. Let's see how heavy it is. According to the scale, it is 11.2 two pounds. That is a lot of puffball. So obviously I'm very excited about this huge puffball that I found in my yard. 11.2 pounds, 52 inches. I'd say that's a pretty good find. And so what I really hope that comes from this video is not that you just learned about a giant puffball, but I hope that this inspires you to go find something cool in your backyard. In mine today, it was a giant puffball. Another day, it might be a pileated woodpecker or turkeys, uh, except when turkeys decide to peck the car, that's not ideal. You can check that video out too. But it might just be hanging out with your pets in your backyard. But whatever it is, I would encourage you to get out there, explore, find something fun in your backyard. I'm Rachel with Adventurous Heart, and I hope you discover a cool adventure in your yard. But for me, I'm going inside and I'm eating some puffball. Until next time, have a good one. All right, rewind. My intention was to come inside and cook this up and spatter some pictures of me eating it and being really cool and it would have just ended there and these pictures would have been integrated into the video. However, life doesn't always meet your expectations and nature always wins. What am I talking about right now? Well, I washed this beautiful huge thing in the sink and I noticed like a little bit of like green sections and I thought, oh maybe, this is me being hopeful, it's just the grass that has stained the white. But then I started to cut into it and look at this. This is a very bad puffball. So I was hopeful and said, well, maybe let's just turn it over and cut a little piece out of it. And you can see here that, uh, yeah, that is not white, meaty, fleshy mushroom that you wanna see in a puffball. Instead, as I mentioned earlier, it's yellow, brown. That means that this beautiful puffball that I have been waiting to eat since I found it has spored. And so I am not going to tell you what to exactly look for to be able to eat it. I will say this is what you do not want to see. If you see that it's already changed colors in any bit, then we'll go ahead and just cut a bigger piece so you really get a big idea because not eating it. <laughs> You can see that this one has definitely gone to spore. And if you find a puffball that looks like this, you definitely do not want to eat it. I do smell the spores. Now that you've <laughs> cut into it, yeah, I definitely <laughs> smell it. Yeah. Yeah. So this is one you unfortunately don't want to eat. So I was so excited, as you can tell earlier in the video, to be able to eat this. But life doesn't always go the way you think, so no eating it today, but you know, that's okay. The big thing is that while I can't eat it, and that's kind of a negative for me, I always want people to find the positive in life. And hopefully this positive is, now you know if you find this, do not eat it. I am Rachel with Adventurous Heart, and I hope you always find the brighter side of whatever situation you find yourself in. What is that? This one's much smaller, isn't it, duck? As luck would have it, I found another puffball in the yard. I'm so excited. This time, I'm gonna make sure that I pick it early so that it has a nice white flesh on the inside. So, you can see this one is a lot smaller. Uh, probably about the smallest one I've actually seen, but I'm gonna make sure I pick it before it goes bad. So, let's go ahead. 
and take this one inside and have some yummy puff ball. All right, so we got the oil heating up. You wanna make sure you have a nice warm oil that you can put it in, otherwise it will all soak into the mushroom. Mushrooms really want to soak into things. But round two, it's a little bit smaller, but I think it is going to be just perfect. So I'm going to get ready to cut open this puff ball. It should be prime and ready to go. Remember, we want a white flesh. If you see yellow or brown like the other one, it is not good. So let's go ahead and cut open into this beautiful puff ball. So I'm just gonna cut it in half first. Squeaky. <laughs> it's like Wisconsin cheese. <laughs> All right, you ready? Oh yes, that is what you want. Do you see that whitey meat kind of fleshiness? It is perfect. This is what you want your puff ball to look like before you eat it. The other one is a prime example of what you do not want. So this is just beautiful, perfect, nice white. Um, interior flesh. Almost like a firm angel food cake. Oh yeah, very good, very good, yeah. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a slice of it to my deci desired thickness. And there's lots of ways you can make these. I've always, as a kid, put them in a little bit of egg and a little bit of flour and fried them up. And because that's how I did it as a kid, that is what I'm craving right now. So that is what I'm to do. Very similar to French toast, eh? Yes, very similar if you're used to making French toast. Again, I'm not telling you how to make them. I'm showing you how I make them, so I'm not telling you that this is what you should do. Uh, this is purely how I use puff balls. What do you think, Mark? <laughs> Got my sous chef there. Barbie, what do you think? You ready for this? So a little bit of coating of flour, and as soon as the oil is hot, then I will go ahead and put it in. All right, so for a little bit of taste, I'll add just a little bit of pepper. The big thing that I want to add, though, is salt. Uh, a little bit before, and then definitely a little bit afterwards. A little bit here. Put it in our hand, sprinkle it on just a little bit. We have the big salt canister, but we're using it sparingly. Oh yeah, <laughs> Phil's like the cook, so he's gonna give you all the cooking tidbits. So we got this nice and hot. Ah, yes. A little bit of bubbling action. Perfect. Ah, I'm so excited. I get this opportunity once, sometimes every year, but sometimes every couple years. So when it comes around and I find them in the yard, I'm super excited. What do you want, sous chef? Do you want some puff ball? Do you want to see it? All right, Marvy. You ready? Come here. Come here. Here. Look. Oh, look what we're cooking up. Oh, is that going to be so, so good? Oh, that's going to be so good. You ready? Okay. Clearly not a commercial kitchen. <laughs> For our enjoyment only. <laughs> and the animals. But that's okay, that's what we like. Mm, that's true. A little bit more. So just a light brown. There you go. On both sides. We'll put a little bit of salt on it. Mm, I'm so excited. <laughs> I was totally bummed the last time when I couldn't eat it. So now I am really, really ready. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's what we want. Mm. Oh yeah, a little bit of salt to taste. I'll pat it down just a little bit to get the extra. But some of you might say it's the good stuff. <laughs> Alright, and then a little bit of salt. Ooh, that was a lot. We're gonna put up that one. Oh, I'm so excited. Don't forget to wait. Let them cool. I know, I know. I'll burn my mouth. I will wait. Then you won't be able to taste it.
the time has come that this has turned into this and I can eat it. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Nostalgia. It reminds me of my childhood. Eating these, finding them brings me back. Oh, so good. So if you have something that reminds you of your childhood, go find it in your backyard and have fun and remember all of your good childhood memories. For me, I'm going to eat some more puffball. That's a boy. There you go. Just a little. Just a little. <laughs>